circuit one, we have four moves, 45 seconds, 15 seconds off. We'll do that three times. Then we have our four minute AMRAP, four moves, four times each, four minutes, keep repeating. Um, I'll yell them out. We did this a, a few weeks ago, this workout. Um, I tried to put one together last night, but I'm really obsessed with True Blood right now. And True Blood is occupying my whole life, even my dreams. Have you guys seen it? Oh my God, I know it came out in 2008, but that's when my boys were like, I don't even know what, a year old. So I didn't pay attention to anything back then. I'm paying attention now. <laughs> okay, let's get going. Get your music, get your towel. Um, you don't need anything but your body today. And, oh, let me lower that. Okay, let's warm it up. Just your body, your body's gonna go. Oh, hello, Toto! Yay! Okay, welcome back. All right, let's take a big deep breath in. Let's get started. Squeeze your butt cheeks. Shoulders down your back. Fill those lungs up. Exhale. Be dramatic. I might be dramatic today. Inhale up and reach over. Oh, really feel that. Really feel that through. I want you to feel from your hip all the way up, pressing your hip the other way, letting your arms going. Yes. One more. Beautiful. And then go into a nice side lunge. Back and forth, back and forth. Alternating side lunges. We're gonna be doing a few of these today. Good, give me three, two. I want you to push pause on this side. Put your hands down on the ground, rotate over and press against the, your quad. Oh, we haven't done that in a warm up forever. Shoulders down your back, back down, rotate forward, go to the other side, turn to the other wall. Heel pressing out, bring those arms up, extra stretch. Make sure you're breathing. Back down to the ground. Roll it up. Give me a few big arm circles back. Good and forward. Good morning. I, I woke up and thought it was Friday today. There's problems. <laughs> Open up your arms and hug. Good. Give me one two, and then come back in with it. One more, out, out, in, and get ready. We're going right into our first one. I want your arms up, walk it out. Plank jack, walk it back. Up, down. So you know I like to continue like the warm up. Plank jack when you get down to that high plank or tap it out, then walk it back. Reach up. Walk it out. Good. Reach up. Breathe. Good job. Here we go. And time. Good, I'm gonna just show you the next move. Just watch it here. We've done this before. Side lunge, alternate knee to elbow. Bring that foot down, step it across. Actually, wait, no, no, no. We're gonna stay on one side. Side lunge right here. Right here, join me now. Stay on one leg, one side. Good job, make sure you keep your shoulders down your back. So you get that little oblique twist at the top with balance. It's a double whammy. Keeping your shoulders down your back. You know, I don't know what you have at home, but if you ever had ankle weights, those little things you could put around your ankles, you could add those to any workout. Keep going one side. Make sure you have a nice strong core when you do that. Slight rotation. Time. We're gonna go the other way now. Right, step it out. We're gonna step it out. Then through, new, and five. Take this 15. We can eat it. We gotta save energy sources for the uh, AMRAP. And cross it over. Opposite. <sighs> other way. <clears throat> yes. 
nice trunk rot woo, rotation. I think I realized why I love true blood. So I met like my Outlander counterpart and said, Scottish, he's a vampire. The same model. Ooh. Freaking love it. Good job. Keep going. Keep going. Hi, Helen. <laughs> hey, Kate. Yes, time. We've done this one before. We are going to go down and up, down and up. If you have something you want to lift it, go for it. And then we're going to switch halfway through that circuit. Three, two, one. Down, rotate, push up. Down. When you push up, first I want your navel spine. Second, I want your shoulders down your back. And I don't want them creeping up to your ears. Reach down and up. Down and up. Last one right here, this side. Switch other side. Down and up. Breathe. Keep going. Squeeze that booty. When you hit that rotation up, squeeze that butt. Time. Get ready for our walkout with a plank jack. Add two plank jacks this time. Um, also, I blame Helen and my sister for my new true blood obsession. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Walk it out. Hit those two high jack plank jacks and walk it back up. Reach up. Hit that perfect high plank. Squeeze your butt. Two jacks or two tap outs. Walk it out. If you need to put your knees down, totally fine. Tap it one side, tap it the other. Pick up the tempo on it because now you know the move. Keep going. And three, two, one. Beautiful. Get ready for our whoop, lunge and alternating twist in five seconds. Okay. I'm going this way first. Here we go. Squat. I mean, I'm sorry. Lunge and bring it up. I guess I'm going this way first. <laughs> Lunge, twist. Get that mind in your muscles, squeezing that core as you twist. Bring that knee up. Woo, total. You hi, Sylvia. Keep going. Almost there. Time. Good. Good. Opposite leg. Opposite leg in 10 seconds. Who else is that? Yes. Hi, Pandora. You got three, two, one. Here we go. It takes me a second to get the other side. Good job. Send that booty back. Keep that chest proud. Shoulders down your back. Twist into that leg raise. Grab your core for balance and stability. If it's too much to balance, you can bring it up to standing and hit that twist. Keep going. Yes, get that knee up, twist into it. Time. Get ready for our reach down. You are pivoting on that leg as you reach up and put it up on a shelf, squeezing your butt cheeks. You got four, three, two, one. Right here, down, up, down. Bend those knees to get down. Hinge at your waist. Yes, Lindsay. Yes, Toto. Oh my God. Toto's in the house. Press it up. Keep going. Last one this side. Switch sides. 
down, up, down, up. Go faster. Again, you want to put a weight in your hand. You go for it. I'm keeping it uh, resistance free today because we can use our body as the machine. Time, time. You have one more round of this than we do our M wrap. So you have a little break between. Get ready for your walkout. Three plank jacks this time. Three, two, one. Walk it out. Hit that high plank. One, two, three. Walk it back. Reach up. Back down. Go a little faster. Breathe. Got this. Keep going. Three jacks. One, two, three. Keep that booty down in that high plank. If you got under 10, you got under five. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Take that rest. Good job. I hope your heart rate's up. We're going to do that side lunge. Knee to elbow, stabilizing muscles. Shoulders down your back, set yourself up. Three, two, squeeze your butt cheeks. Hit it side, pick it up. Side lunge, pick it up. Yes. Beautiful. Really get your mind and your muscles. It's a lot more going on than it looks like. Breathe. Yes. Stick that booty back. Three, two, one. Good job. This other leg. Hold on. Really, this is like a this is like a brain teaser for me. I'm like, wait, I just did what? Okay. Let's go. Here we go. I did it. Here we go. Other leg. Riddle me this. If you do a side lunge. Knee to elbow. Get the mind and the muscles. Get all Jedi on your muscles. Keep going. You got five, three, time. Good. Get ready for your low to high. You got five, three, two, here you go. Reach down, press up, shoulders away from your ears. Down, squeeze that butt as you lengthen those arms. Good, keep going. Last one, this side, switch it. You feel that heart rate come up from that low to high repetitive motion. Three. Oh, wait, you got an eight or three. No, you got five. Keep going. Three, two, time. Good job. That, my friends, is our first round. This first circuit's over. Yep, we are going into our first AMRAP. So that's as many rounds as possible. Four moves, four each for four minutes. Keep going. So first move is an alternate knee to elbow. You can jump or you can just stand. Do it for one, two, three, four. Then we have four squat jumps or up to toes. Okay, four of those. 
Then from there, we got our wide mountain climber. You're going down to the ground. One, two, three, four. And then you have high plank, down dog, shin tap. Two, three, four. And then we repeat it. I will yell them out. You do you. Um, do whatever freaking move you want. You're like, what's this? Here we go. Here we go. We have that alt knee to elbow. One, two, three, four. Then we went squat jumps or squat to toes. One, two, three, four. Then you go down to the ground. Four mount, wide mount climbers. One, two, three, four. Then you hit that high plank. Shin tap. One, two, three, four. Pop it back up. Knee to elbow. One, two, three, four. Your squats. One, two, three, four. Down to the ground. Wide mountain climbers. One, two, three, four. You hit that high plank. Shin tap. One, shin tap. Two, shin tap. Three, shin tap. Four. Pop it back up. Knee to elbow. One, two, three, four. Get ready for your squats or squat jumps. One, two, three, four. Back down. Wide mountain climber. One, two, three, four. Shin tap. One, two, three. You do you. Four. Pop it up. Knee to elbow. One, two, three, four. Squat jumps. Two, four. Yes, down. Looking good, guys. Wide mountain climber. One, two, three, four. High plank. Shin tap. Two, three, four. Beautiful. Up. Knee to elbow. One, two, three, four. Squat or squat jump. Two, three, four. Yes. Wide mountain climber. More than halfway there. One, two, three, four. Shin taps. One, two, three, four. Alternate knee, elbow. Two, three, four. Get ready. Squat jumps. Two, or squat to toes. Yes. Wide mountain climber. One, two, three, four. Shin taps. One, two, three, four. Pop back up. Knee to elbow. Yes, you're crushing it. One, two, three, four. Wide mountain climber. Less than a minute. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Good job. Elbow to knee. One, two, three, four. You got 30 seconds. One, two, three, four. Wide mountain climber. One, two, three, four. Down dog shin tap. Two, three, four. Pop it back up. Knee elbow. Two, three, four. Squats. Two time. 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 Four minutes. Good job. Towel off. You crushed it, you crushed it, you crushed it, you crushed it. Breathe. Ho. Heart rate's at 180. My heart rate goes very high. And then it goes very low. Breathe. We're gonna take our heart rate down. And we're taking it down to the ground. 
Let's take a second. Heart rate down. Let's see, we got our push ups, dead bug, bird dog, low plank reaches. So we're all on the ground. Let's get there. Starting with our push ups. Good job, everybody. AMRAPs can be so much fun and completely relentless at the same time, but they're a good heart rate booster and strengthener for your cardiovascular system. Okay, we are starting with a push up so you can have your hands on the wall, have your hands on a raised uh, like ottoman chair table if you need it, or knees on the ground. We're gonna do one push up and then a knee to hand tap, another push up knee, hand tap. So set yourself up, hands are below shoulders and then just like a two inches, one or two inches wider than your shoulders. Elbows track back, let's go. Press that ground away. Squeeze that booty. Squeeze that core. Shoulders are down your back. All the time. Squeeze your legs. Oof. Elbows track back. 45 degrees back. Press that ground away. Time. Flip it over. Good job, guys. Going from that air mat to push ups is hard. Now, this beautiful exercise lower back comes into the mat, knees come up into tabletop, arms go straight up, elbows are shoulders down, opposite leg, opposite hand. Really focus on pressing your lower back into the mat. Okay? That's the activation point. Reaching with both your hand and your foot as it extends. Breathing. Good job, everybody. Try and keep those knees straight up out of your hips. They're going to want to creep towards your chest that relaxes the muscles a little bit if it goes past that flexion if it really gets flexed in there but don't force it to work straight up out of your hips time good job roll it over we have a dead i mean i'm sorry bird dog if you want all fours hands directly under shoulders knees directly under hips and you extend just like the um dead bug okay if you want to make this more of a balance challenge, you go into that beast slash bear and you do opposite. I really want you to focus on stabilizing your core, whatever you do, and reaching. Whatever you do, complete neutral spine and weight stays completely centered and distributed equally. I don't want your back caving in. I want a strong back, so navel spine, okay? Press that ground away through your shoulders. Good, time. Come into a low plank here. Elbows directly under your shoulders. <laughs> you can be on your knees or on your toes, over your shoulders, and we are reaching and back, reach, and back. Reach. Hi, Allison. <laughs> We're right next to each other. <laughs> Reach. Make sure, because what's going to happen as you're moving is your elbows and shoulders are going to come out of line. Focus on that. Make sure your elbows stay right under your shoulders. Reach. Put your knees down if you need to. Keep that head neutral. Let me see these neutral heads. Yes, yes, yes. Watch those booties don't go high up in the air. Time. Give yourself a child's pose. We are going back to that push up round. Push up to knee tap in five seconds. Set yourself up. Hands, elbow pits slightly forward. Let's go. Press that ground away, knee, 
and hand come together. Press it away. It's trying to get you to go all the way down to the ground. No, don't. It's teasing you. Get those core muscles, booty muscles, leg muscles involved. Press that ground away. You are almost there. You got less than five seconds. Give me at least one more. Time. Flip it over, dead bug. Get that lower back into the mat. Those knees are directly above your hips. They're gonna wanna go in here. No, directly out. Arms up, let's go. As you move, those knees are gonna wanna come closer to your chest. Cause that's gonna unengage muscles that are working. Your muscles always want the path of least resistance. It's part of our survival mechanisms. But when we're strengthening them, they can't, they can't bail, they can't go stout. Let's go. Lower back in the mat. It's part of like our save energy, brain functionings, but we are here to burn and use that energy right now. Time, good job. Bird dog or bear dog. You do you though, whatever gets you the perfect form, that's where I want you, okay? Press those ground away, opposite hand, opposite leg. Navel to spine, your, bat, your booty's gonna wanna get up, tilt up. No, keep that neutral spine. Beautiful, you're feeling, oh, I got this. Hit that stability bear, press it out. Pressing the ground away in either position. Good job, everybody. Beautiful, keep that flat back. Tuck that navel to spine. Time, good job. We're hitting our low plank reaches. I'm reaching for you guys. Thank you for being here. You're a lifeline. You know that you are my lifeline. Here we go. Shoulders under, elbows under shoulders. Reach. I'm reaching for you. Thank you. You are still actively pressing that ground away through your forearms and your elbow. Originates, that energy originates from your shoulders and your core. Really reach, really keeping your hips square to the ground. Good job, you got 15 seconds, keep going. Time. We have one more round through this. So get ready for your push-ups. Set it up however, wherever you are. Go there, push it a little further if you can, and let's hit it. Push that ground away. Knee to elbow. I tell you, it's my third round. That's usually my best round. Squeeze. Strong core. Breathe. You're less than 20 seconds. Try and get three more in. Good. Time. Good job, good job, good job. Flip it over, dead bug. Yes. Again, pay attention to those knees. Don't let them come in too far right above, hands go up, shoulders away, pack down your back, lower back in the mat. Ooh. Ooh. 
check your form because you're not even going to know your knees come closer to you. It's just going to happen. I have to keep checking in my screen to make sure they don't. If I had you in class right now, I'd walk around and put my arm there so it wouldn't move. Breathe. Good job, keep going. Yes. Time. A bird dog or beast dog? Or a combination of both. Okay. Hands directly under shoulders. I have my fingers nice and spread, clawing at the ground. Knees come up if you're doing bare. Press it. Navel to spine. Light that booty up. Make sure you're breathing. Feel how strong you are. Squeeze that booty. Navel to spine. Beautiful for your back. Time. Last move in the circuit. Low plank with a reach. I'm reaching for you. Keep that booty down. You can have your knees on the ground. You can be on a wall and do this. Let's go. Get that booty down. Reach. Really reach for something. I want you to feel it in your core. Really squeeze your butt. Really press that ground away. Don't let those shoulders creep up your neck. Pack them down your back. Breathe. Good job, you got under 10 seconds. Time, good job. Circuit two is done. We're going into our next AMRAP and it's our last AMRAP. Take a sip of water. Push kicks, skaters, high plank, bear hops, big scissors. We got this. You know I love me a push kick. So we're going up, up, up and down. Again, four moves, four times each. You do you. Okay, push kicks, get your back and butt into it. You lean back, that's your push kick, four of those. Skaters, you could do a big step. You can go down super low, you pick you, okay? The lower you go, the bigger the jump, the harder it is. Um, high plank bear hops, you can walk it in and out or you pop it in, okay? For four times and then flip it over, four big scissors with your legs, okay? Let's get going. We got our push kicks. One, two, three, four. Then we hit our skaters. One, two, three, four. Bear hops or bear walk ins. One, two, three, four. Flip it over. One, two, three, four. Back up. Push kicks. One, two, three, four. Skaters. One, two, three, four. Good. Hit those skaters and you hit your bear hops. One, two, three, four. Good job. You flip it over. You hit one, 
two, three, four. Skaters, one, two, three, go. Margaret, four. Bear hops or bear walks. One, two, three, four. Flip it over, you got big scissors, shoulders off the mat. One, two, three, four. Push kicks. One, two, three, four. Yes! Hit that skater. One, two, three, four. Yes! That felt like all Apollo and Tona and one, two, three, four. Back up. Push kicks. Kick it away. One. Get it out of here. Two. Three. Four. Yes. Hit those skaters. One. Two. Three. Four. Bear hops. You got one minute left. Bear hops. One. Two. Three. Four. Scissors. One. Two. Three, four. Oh, kick it out. One, two, three, four. Yes, get that fierceness. Skaters, one, three, four. I don't like the bear hops. Let's get them. Crush them. Get out of here, bear hops. One, two, three, four. Big scissors. One, two, three, four. Yes. Push kicks. One, two. Yes, you're crushing it. You're, you're done. You're done. Way to crush it. Oh my God. Those push kicks are like therapy. Breathe. You have one circuit left. It's core focus. We will be on the ground. 30 seconds each move, non-stop, continuous, three times through. Or it might be more than three times through. Sorry! It's six minutes of work. You got 15 seconds. Single leg V-ups to start, so you're on your back. Go. Here we go. So you're back. One side, okay? Rotate and hit that foot. Or if that straight leg's too much, you come up to a knee. Give that rotation, okay? Navel is fine. Really reach for your toes. If you can, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, great. Great, bend your legs in. We're doing a sit up with cross punches. We're hitting our obliques again. Um, I really want your feet not to come off the ground as you do that sit up. So if they need to be really low, go for it. Or creep them up if they stay on the ground, okay? Oh God, we're supposed to go into it. I'm waiting for the belt. Keep going. Cross punch. Shoulders down your back. Keep going, give me one more. Good, get over onto a low plank. And this time with low plank, we reach for each other. Now we're gonna reach straight and come down by your leg. Put your hand back down on the ground. Reach all the way around like you're swimming, okay? Reach all the way around. Reach all the way around. Keep those elbows under your shoulders. Keep that booty down. If you need to put your knees on the ground, go for it. Good. Sit down on reverse. Reverse tabletop right here. And I want you to bring me a knee up. Okay, little hip, little booty dip. Press up and your knee comes off the ground. Or your foot comes off the ground rather. Your knee pulls it up. Good job. Lay all the way back down. Those are four moves. And we're doing alternate V-ups. 
So you reach for that foot or elbow to knee. If you're doing elbow to knee now, next week you do your foot. You just keep building on. We have to build the foundation. Ooh. And bring those legs in. Sit up, cross punch. You peel that back off and then you spread it back down. Good job, keep those shoulders away from your ears. Good job, everybody. Good, roll it over. Plank with the reach around. Squeeze that booty. Your feet can be a little wider if you want it more surface area at the bottom. Helps your hips stay nice and stable. The closer your feet together, the harder you have to recruit more core. Keep that butt down. Push it to the, put your feet wherever your form. You have to work to keep it there. Time, flip it over. Press that booty up off the ground and bring the knee with it. Good job, everybody. Squeeze that butt. Time, good job. Back down, alternating V up. Make sure you're breathing. Good, sit up, cross punch. Right into it. You're at the end of the workout. I'm gonna do some back and chest in the after party today. Breathe. Good, flip it over, low plank, reach around. Right into it. Reach and bring that arm around and put it back down. This is not about how many reach arounds you can get. This is about keeping that perfect form, controlling your muscles, keeping that neutral spine. Yes, I do believe this is the last one. Turn it over and knee up. Press into the ground, press away. Your fingers are facing your feet. Squeeze that booty as you hit the tabletop and your knees come up. Pressing into the ground, you can feel your triceps burning up. You got this, you're almost there. Yes, you are there. Lay down. Bring both legs in. Both legs in. You're done. You got two minutes to stretch with me. Oh, bring your both legs in. Let one leg go down. Good job. Let it hit the ground. Pull that other leg across your body so you feel this light up from your booty up the side of your leg. Breathe. Lengthen that leg. Oh, good. Grab wherever's comfortable. Quad, hammy, behind your knee, pull it a little closer as you exhale. Give a little rotation in the ankle one way and the other. Breathe. Bring it in, one more hug over. Oh, let's bring it all the way over to the side and look the opposite way that that knee's traveling. Okay, oh my gosh, my back just cracked and it felt amazing. Okay, good, come back to center. Put that leg down, bring the other leg in. Good, bring it into center. I want you, as soon as you hug it in tighter into center, you should feel that booty. Say thank you. Breathe, extend that leg. 
Exhale, pull it a little closer to you. Good. Give that little, give a little rotation in your ankle. Circle one way, circle the other. Good. Bend it back in. Hug it in closer and into your middle of your chest. And then pull it all the way over and look the opposite way over your shoulder. Oh, that feels divine. Come back. Beautiful. Hug both legs in and give yourself a little roll up. I want you to back and forth until you come up to sitting. Beautiful. Flip it over. Give yourself a cat cow right here. Mm, press the ground away. Opposite. Booty up, head up. Opposite again. Press the ground. Shoulders come apart. Up. Give yourself a child's pose. Spread those knees. Send that booty back. I love the claw at the carpet. Keep the shoulders away from your ears. Walk it over to one side to grab that obliques and lats. They did some work today too. Other side, walk it through the middle. Set while that booty's pushing back, your arms are reaching forward, shoulders stay neutral. Beautiful, come back to center. Come up to all fours, curl those toes under. Press those heels into the ground. Your booty goes to the ceiling. Find that length in your spine. Oh gosh, feel that posterior chain light up. Walk your feet to your hands and slowly, slowly roll up. Roll it up, roll it up, roll it up. We did it. We made, Allison, you did made it through the AMRAP. What the heck's happened? Hi, Sylvia. Toto, oh my God, so, no, unmute, unmute. Okay, you're all muted. I don't know how, my, I, we'll deal with that. You could text me, cause I can't unmute. <laughs> Give me your beautiful Friday faces, but it's Tuesday. <laughs> it's the weekend in three more days or four. <laughs> I'm doing arms if anybody wants to hang around. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret, so good to see you. Mary, everybody. Okay. If you, I, I don't have to, bye. Ciao, Sylvia. <laughs> I can't, I don't know what happened. Zoom updated and I don't know how to undo things. So, all right, I'm going to get in my weights. We're going to do flat pullover. Okay. So you could be on the ground. I'm going to pull my ottoman into the mix. Um, so I get above ground. I'm not above ground. What makes it more is that your range of motion is going to increase so the floor doesn't stop your motion if you're levitated up. Not, not levitated. Oh my God. It's vampire speak. I said levitated. <laughs> I think I'm going to check my husband's DNA. I want him to get tested. And I think he's a Scottish vampire. <laughs> okay. So with the, oh, that's going to be too heavy. Um, lap pull over. I'm going to get on the end of my ottoman, my shoulder blades, without the weight. I want your shoulder blades resting, the, the, uh, whatever you have, if you have anything, it's right below your shoulder blades. And that's going to increase your range of motion. Okay. And over. So you can be laying flat on the ground. It's totally fine. It's still great workout. It's gonna get into your lats. It's just gonna be a little less of the range of motion than if you're raised up. Breathing. Yes. Uh, let's do four more, four. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Okay, so you can stay up because my arm is not very stable. I'm not going to do the chest presses on my arm. Um, I'm going to scooch it out and we are going to be on our backs and we're going to put both arms up in the air. One arm stays, 10 on one side, and then we're switching into the other. So I'm going to grab my weights. Chest muscles are big, so you can go heavier. Let me angle this down a little bit. Okay. 
but you have to do what's safe and comfortable for you. So, on your back. Okay. And then elbows are slightly below your shoulders. They're not straight out. They're slightly below. And you're pressing both up. You hold one arm straight up and the other is doing your presses. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Switch other arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Carefully put those down as you get up. Great. We're now going to stand and we're going to do a hinge, row, and fly. Targeting the back muscles. So, feet are hip width apart, navel is to spine, booty pops out. And then we are going to go a row, straight back, squeeze those shoulder blades together, come back down, shoulders away from ears, fly away. Okay? Two. Three. Four. Five. Beautiful, Meredith. Yes, Nina. Seven. Eight. Nine. Yes, Allison. Yes, perfect. Ten. Awesome. That's it. Back to our lap pullovers. I like to line myself up, get those shoulder blades where they need to be, get that weight ready, and bring that, those arms back. Oh, feel that. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, good job. Set that booty down. Grab whatever you're going to do your chest press with. And you can stay on the ground, on the ball, whatever you got. It's good. Good, good, good. You can have your knees up, whatever's comfortable. Press both arms up. Really get that chest engaged. And then one arm comes down. Press it. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Navel spine. Eight, two more. Two, other side. One, two, three. Really push it up there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Both arms come down. Gently put those weights down safely. Whoopsie. Good job. Okay, come on up. We got that hinge. Row to fly. Hip width with your feet. So your feet are pretty narrow. Booty's fired up. Navel to spine. It goes back. Shoulders down your back. Row it. Fly. Two. Three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Good job. We're hitting our last round. Take a little sip of water. Okay, last round of lat pullovers. This is a very beautiful exercise. I think it's just very pretty. I just love when you feel that activation in the lats, which are kind of a tough one to grab. Okay, here we go. Shoulder blades at the edge and over one. Like you're pulling. Two, three, four, five. Make sure your booty's electrified. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, beautiful. Sit that booty down. Get rid of that weight. Goodbye, Ottoman. Okay. Chest press. This I really do miss the benches. I will say that. Okay. Get those weights. Navel. Just find lower back. Press into the mat. Elbows just below your shoulders, and press both up. Press one up to the ceiling, other one comes down. Keep that pressed up. Two, three, really press it up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it back down, press it back up, and the other one. Let's go. Ten. Nine, press that lower back into the mat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, lower both gently, safely, protecting your body at all times and joints. Okay, back up. So you see how we did that's a pull over, a pull, and then that was a push. It's that push pull back to back exercise. And it's the, that's the bee's knees. And here we got a pull two. Pulls are harder to get with um, at home workouts. Usually you use machines for those. Okay, ready? So hinged over, navel to spine, arms come up, out, row, fly. Row, but we figured out how to do pools at home. Three, squeeze those shoulder blades together, shoulders are down your back. Four, five, navel spine. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Yes. 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 